Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Ultra Hardware number 49505. This is a pocket door lock in a brass finish and a privacy function. So here is the interior with your thumb turn. Okay. Here is your edge pole. Here is the exterior with a slotted preparation so that you can get in should someone need to be rescued from inside the bathroom. Um, this is, they say, compatible for inch and three eighths to inch and three quarter doors. Um, I'm saying that it's not at all compatible for those that door thickness. Uh, the length of that pin that's here is too short for an inch and three quarter door is the bottom line. My experience tells me that that is indeed the case. Um, and one of the reasons of these videos is to, although maybe I'm wrong, um, you know what? I might be wrong. I'm going to test it right now. It might be wrong. The reason for these videos, I'm going to pause this while I get my screwdriver. I used to always do a reality check on what the factory is sending out. Things, especially when they're from companies that do a lot of importing, uh, their items will fluctuate in terms of their specifications. So what I'm doing here on my desk is I am relieving the screws to the point where I can slide the body apart. I want to be sure that it's going to work on an inch and three-eighths door correctly. Pardon me, inch and three-quarter. Certainly inch and three-eighths will work. Ultra Hardware is a name synonymous with many things builder hardware related. Not only pocket door sets, privacy sets like this, but many things that you'll see in residential applications, namely cabinet hardware. They have a very nice offering of cabinet hardware along with lock sets, hinges, uh, home security hardware, they'll get into a lot of material. Okay, I've about got this adjusted to where it has to be. So I've got these screws turned out to the point where what happens is when you pull them apart, the bird's mouth that is in the receivers will fall off the pin. You can kind of see that there. There's no way to get those to stay on with that length pin for an inch and three quarter door. That's just the bottom line. If you have an inch and three quarter door, don't order this model. Reach out to us and we will help you uh, with a model uh, that will work for an inch and three quarter door. You might be doing a small commercial sort of build out where you have inch and three quarter sliding doors and your requirement does not uh, include um, ADA compliance. So reach out to us. There are pocket door privacy sets like this that are compatible with inch and three quarter doors. Separate video. So obviously the top is going to be, the top of the unit will always be referred to in the direction that the uh, edge pole swings up towards is the bottom line. Now what happens is the rest of the installation is going to include the strike plate. It's going to include four screws. They're all the same. You'll need two for the body. You're going to need two for the strike. The top of the strike is going to be the area where the cutout is closest to the screw hole. And that is because of the action of the hook that comes out. The action of that is not very smooth because the lock is tightened down. So that hook comes up from the top and that slot in the hole provides the clearance for that to work. There is no template available from Ultra for this. There's no installation instructions, unfortunately. The bottom line is you are going to have to um, do your level best to just eyeball much of this is the bottom line. But I'll be able to give you a little bit of uh, help at this. So generally what you will find with these sorts of locks is that you're going to create a notch in the edge of the door and that notch uh, needs to be
something in the range of one in one in seven eighths wide. Where I'm coming up with one and seven eighths is basically applying the tape measure to the outside edge. And by all means, this is just a guide. This is not what you should manufacture to. You should probably wait and get the hardware and do your own review. But if I was going to do it, when I hook my tape measure to the edge of the of the unit and I hold that flush to the camera, you'll see that inch and seven eighths falls right on the inside of the screw hole. Okay, so that's where I'm getting that from. Then of course your height. You know, you might make it, you know, two and a quarter, maybe two and five sixteenths. That that dimension, well, you're going to want to make it the, the height of this material, okay? You don't want it any bigger than that, maybe a 30 second larger. So two and a quarter will be certainly sufficient for that sort of installation. So by all means, check before you cut obviously with the hardware but two and a quarter is inch and seven by inch and seven eighths is where I would start now the strike plate that height is two and a quarter its width is one inch and you're gonna have to get this attached to the door um, based on my testing if I hold the strike flush to the two and a quarter inch prep and I literally operate the lock in my hand, I will notice, I notice that it will clear. As it exits, just fine. I'll demonstrate that right now. So I'm holding the strike flush with the top and bottom of the case. As I operate the lock, it will clear and then latch down real nice. So what we're seeing here is, based on my review and experience, the top of the door to the top of this will be the inside of the header to the top of this, plus whatever the margin is between the top of the door and the header, of course, which would be your top plate, your hanger, your track, all that stuff. Whatever that dimension is, you're going to uh, add it when you measure to the top of the frame. So just be, you know, uh, careful as you're, you know, laying all that out. And by all means, always reality check everything before you cut. This is quite thin. This would require a very sharp chisel to make it look nice. Too thin to to have a router really do the job. But the but that's the bottom line. Be sure that you pre-drill your holes uh, before you're screwing uh, the pieces onto your door and frame. When I put this on, I like to put an ever so slight angle on the screw so that when slight, one or two degree, one degree, so that when I tighten the screw down, it will just have the action of drawing that back a little tighter than standard against the edge of the door. Time and practice really dictates how that is done, but that's how I would go about doing it. So other than the fact that this is inch and three eighths only, certainly a nice quality item and this would be very part and parcel that you would see across the board commercial of uh, available in uh, you know in the world this is equal to uh, basically everybody else's except that this will not go inch and three quarter and most don't uh, so it's not uncommon but just keep that in mind if you have any questions on the ultra hardware number four it is a four nine five oh five pocket door privacy set in brass or any other ultra hardware product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.